You guys ready? Sorry for the glasses. Giving you a little bit of Miami vibes today. But it's time to lock in, all right? You know you're here with Josh Bailey. Today, I'm gonna show you how to train your biceps properly. I'm gonna show you why you're not getting that peak on your biceps and your biceps keep looking flat, all right? There's a big difference how you get it to look like this and why yours is looking like that. Let's get started. I want you guys to understand, if I'm doing the bicep curl and I'm bringing it from my side here, most people start to swing to get that twist and to get the momentum, especially if the weight is heavy. But in general, you see people just, you see people just rock it. You see people just switch sides and you get momentum from shifting. But here's a better way to do it, that you'll never miss targeting your biceps, all right? Put your weights in front so they come to a dead stop position, right? I can't rock. You actually have to keep your elbow in front of you. It can't go back. You can't rock. If you put your weights in front, all right, this is called a supernated grip, okay? Supernated grip is under. That's how most of us train biceps or you go to neutral grip. Supernated grip allows me, just like if I was to flex my bicep right here, that's supernated grip. You want it to look just like this when you train them. So, keep them in front of your body. Now, just like that, straight up. Don't move your elbow. Bring it to the top of your chin. Boom. Slowly resist it back down. Let's do a quick 10, all right? Watch my form. That's how you get it done. Also notice, during that whole time of curling, you never saw me bending my knees like that, all right? Nice, tall posture, bring it up, squeeze that bicep, and bring it back down, controlled. All right, let's move on to the next one. I know you guys see this one too. I see it every time I go to the gym. Pick up a heavy, easy bar or barbell, and because the weight is heavy, you start rocking, all right? And you don't want to rock. Okay, here we go again, messing up the isolation of your biceps. What you want to do is want to be nice and in control. Now, if you can't pick up this easy bar or barbell and not rock, I have something better for you. We're gonna go to the wall over here, okay? And I'm gonna show you how to do these properly. A better way to do these easy bar curls Put your back on the wall, and now you can, you can stop yourself from rocking, okay? So, your body is stuck in this position, your elbows are tucked into your body. <sighs> Just like that. <clears throat> Bring it all the way up, okay, no half. But what I'm gonna challenge you guys to do right now, once you get it locked in, okay? We got the full rep curls, we're gonna go for 21s, okay? This is. This exercise you should put in your next workout. So we're gonna go. Right now, follow me. Seven, half, one, two, three, four. Seven, bring it up, halfway down. Seven up, 14, four reps. Whew. 21 is a game changer. I want you guys to notice something, all right? Every time I did my reps, I didn't keep my arms bent. All right, I wasn't curling like this. 
All right, you're gonna to target your shoulders like that. You curl in the bar like this, you're gonna target your shoulders. Straighten your arms out. Get full extension, all right? That's called range of motion. So if you wanna work your whole bicep, understand here, your bicep is, already, is, always, is always clenched, contracted, okay? You don't want that. You wanna release, elongate the muscle, okay? And then curl all the way up and squeeze your biceps as if you were flexing it, okay? Every single rep. All the way down, all the way up. Stop doing cheat reps. That's why you can't get the biceps that you're trying to get. Let's move on to the next one. Oof. Oof. Mm. Time out, coach. What is that? I see people do this one in the gym a lot as well. You're doing a cross body hammer curl, but for some reason, you, you decide to bring it in and then out, or you're out here, right? You're curling it out here. These are both wrong, okay? This is why you ever do this, right? If you ever flex like this, notice when you flex your arm like this, you're not doing that motion. It's stuck here because this is where you get the best contraction, all right? Right here, elbow tucked in, right out, right to the other side of your chest. And you squeeze that muscle, all right? Right here, all right? We're working that, getting forearm work, getting brachialis work. And of course, you're getting a little bit of the bicep, but we're now focusing on the thicker part, the brachialis part of the bicep. Whew. That's the right way to do it. Notice, when I did these curls, the weights were always in front of me, not from the side, but from here, it helps me keep my elbow locked in. And that's the, that's the key point of doing this exercise. I want you guys to know something. I've been training my biceps since I was like, like eight or nine years old. I remember my cousin had some dumbbells, introduced me to them every day. I would go in the room and start pumping them. So I'm starting from, you know, some of you guys are just starting. Don't compare yourselves to me. I also have good genetic for arms. So just train like I'm telling you and the game's gonna come, all right? Let's keep going. It's that IG workout for you right there. See the stuff on Instagram, look good, but you're like, what is that actually working, all right? There's a lot of stuff wrong with it, what I just did. Number one, I'm curling out here with the momentum. Regardless of the momentum, anytime I curl, out here, it's too far away from your body to actually target the muscle group indirectly, all right? So what I mean, or directly. So always when you're curling, you're either here, all right? If I'm gonna curl out here, I need to curl here, okay? Understand, me curling like this and me curling here is totally different. But the fact of the twist, right? So if we add the twist in, now, this is a different, right? This is different, now it's pronated. And pronated is good for targeting the forearms mostly. So we're gonna do a bicep forearm combo workout. It has to be done properly. Let me show you how to do this. This is, I call this the IG workout, all right? So, what you're gonna do, just like I showed you before, keep them in front, all right? Even if you wanna twist it here, I'm gonna show you how to twist it here, okay? This is close to my body. You're gonna twist up. See how I twisted that? I didn't rock, my elbow didn't go back. Went from my side and I twist it as I come up. And now I twist it here and it comes in front of my body. Up as high as I can, back here. All right, and it almost makes sense to never just go back here, all right? It doesn't make sense. So in front of my body again, lift, twist, slow. Mm. Complete twist, slowly bring it down. Uh. Elbows always tucked in. Probably can get three more. Uh. Ah, 
Ugh. Woo, that's one. Oh my God. Woo. That was probably the hardest workout I've done out of all of these. Notice how much concentration I had. Lightweight, really focused on technique and form. And I probably only could really do maybe six to eight reps. And those are just 25s. All right, that's a good one. Try it, but make sure your form is right. You guys catch what I was doing wrong there? This is another one. I see it all the time. And the preacher curl is one of my favorite curls to do. All right, this really isolates the biceps, but you gotta do it right. Notice what I was doing here. I wasn't coming all the way down. And what people think, at this point, once you drop the weight here, you're gonna really feel your bicep contract and it's gonna work from the bottom to the top. Here, I'm already, I'm just, I'm just pretty much pulsing the muscle, which you can still get results doing, but if you really want that peak, you gotta do it like this. Today, I'm grabbing inside, inside grip. Also, another thing you wanna do is make sure your seat is in the right position. So, if I'm all the way up here, I don't have that much you know, room to work. I wanna be with my shoulders up, right? So either your seat has to be lower or fix your posture from here to more of an upright position. So we're going inside grip, all right? Everything we've done today has been mid grip. This is one of my favorites, all right? Right inside here. See here, right inside. You got the mid grip here, or right here. So posture upright. Notice. Once you get here, this is crazy, right? You feel like you're not gonna get back up. This is gonna hurt. <clears throat> All the way up. Almost to my head, all right? Down. While I'm here, here's another thing you do. We're gonna knock two birds out with one stone today. Same thing, all right? Preacher curl, but with a single bicep. What you see is people here twisting the body, right? See how my body's twisted? How can you lift? Can you lift with your body twisted? You can, but you want your shoulders square, all right? For this one, I like to stand up a little bit too. So, yeah, most people, you can stand up or you can sit down, but for this one, I like to be up more. Now, my shoulders are squared to the bench, right? And I, I even catch myself doing it sometimes. So, when you square, it allows you to be in a straight line position. Let me switch hands, you might can see it here better. Now, I get more of a target on that bicep, boom. All the way down, guys. Shoulder square. Squeeze that bicep at the top. <clears throat> All the way down. Uh, whew. I'm giving you guys all of my tips, all right? Make sure you use these. I'm not just recording this and showing you how I grow my biceps for no reason. All right, if you're looking for results, this is how you get them. We train smart, all right? You can train hard, but train smart. The weight doesn't always have to be heavy, but what you have to do is make sure your form is good. You're getting good eccentric, meaning slow on the way down, as well as concentric movements done well, all right? Slowly down, 
you can bring it up slow or sometimes you can go ahead and use that explosiveness when you're getting tired, right? When you get tired, start using that explosiveness to bring it up. But again, form is always key. So you guys are here with Josh Bailey. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe. If you want me to keep bringing these, leave some comments below. Let me know what you want to see next. I appreciate giving you guys this content so that you can get results and be better in your fitness journey. All right, check in guys, work on those biceps.